All right, Gino, cheaters. Oh, I hate cheaters. This is, this is a subject that really, really hurts me, like inside, like internally in like my soul. Because it goes cheaters. against your values so deeply. It goes, it goes against my values. But the other thing that it kind of just irks me is that I always think of like, who are they cheating? They're cheating themselves. So like our students, they, they pay for a class. Don't show up. Sometimes they don't show up. <laughs> and then it's, there's, there's always, and it's not all of them. No, Ni no. 97 and a half percent of them are not cheaters, but yeah. that, that like two out of a hundred that cheat. One, they're really bad at cheating. They're really obvious at because cheating. Because you catch them. Well, they're not hard to catch. <laughs> I mean, dishonest people are usually dishonest like right out in, 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 the, in open. the open. But I always say they're just, they're cheating themselves. Like, why do you come to school to learn a subject, you pay for it, and then you cheat yourself? That, that doesn't make any sense yeah. to me. Or how about when they help somebody else cheat? Or yeah, the, and they always, help a, they always help somebody else cheat, and that person is even probably more dishonest than them because they know what's going on. If you, if you were asked to help somebody else cheat and you were an honest person, you would just tell the person, what's the simplest answer? No. no. I have a sign-in sheet in my class. They have to sign every week that they come in for another OSHA card that they're going to get as part of the curriculum. So something I'm doing for them, extra in addition to the class. And they sign in and then I'll count the number of students that are sitting in the class and the number of students that sign in the sheet and the numbers don't match. Oops. So I have to find out who was the one that was signing for somebody else. So I have the sheets from the previous weeks where you signed in and I can match your signatures. You cheaters. So what do I do? I go back and I start matching signatures. And then there's one that just is so bad. And it's so obvious. Uh, and so it's easy to catch the cheaters. What about, what about you? Yeah, but I, I want you to expand a little more because it got you so deep that it got you me, gave them a 20 minute speech. It got me so deep one, one time. I came into class and, and, I, and I, started, I, I started in on them about cheating. And I offered it up for the cheater to come forward, for the one that was doing the cheating. Did not? He did not openly come forward in an open setting, which I'm, I'm glad he didn't. Because what do we say? We, we, we praise publicly, but you reprimand in private. Correct. So the class ended. Everybody was left the class. And I was there picking my stuff up, and a student comes back in. He walks up to the front of the class and he was like, I was the cheater. So at that moment in time, I had a chance to mentor that student. And that's what Beautiful. came around full circle to him. And I told him, I was like, man, you're, if you cheat, you're only cheating yourself in the long game. Yeah, you get the, the short you know, pleasure right then. You, 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 know, you, you fix the short term problem. But what is the, what is the long term? Like, what is you're going to miss out on certain things that you should have known. Exactly. So you've, you've only cheated yourself. Exactly. I had the case that the way we structure our courses is not only do we have exams and homework, we have this thing we call discussions. Yeah. It's a knowledge-based social media, if you will. It's a way for them to interact with the other students in the class, exactly. especially on the online version <clears throat> of the class. So we get them to answer a bunch of prompts because they're not really questions we prompt them because we want discussion yeah and they are supposed to give back feedback to other posts right that they have and to at least two and it's not hey good job jerry hey well done buddy i really agree with you yeah they have to no, evaluate no, no. The, what the other students Evaluate, disagree with them. Come on, this is a discussion. In, yeah. in discussion, I always I, I even put it in mind as, do not write in your response, great post. Yeah. <laughs> I tell them all the time that in the question and answer period, that is when the true learning happens. Because you're bringing up stuff that maybe I didn't bring up, that someone else, and by you bringing up a subject, 
it triggers another person to bring up a subject. It makes you think. So this was a, an assignment that said basically, please provide an outline, something they struggle with, they don't know how to do an outline, of something, a plan, estimating, quality control, safety, give me a plan. And I see, when I go grade them, and mind you, this is a course that I have 47 students, so it takes a lot of reading for and me to get and you've this. you've seen a lot of material. I see a lot of material, and then all of a sudden my brain goes, wait a minute. I already read that. <laughs> I already read that. But, you know what the little wise guys did? They took whatever this student wrote, and they ran it through the rewrite chat GPT the new artificial intelligence. It's a generative pre-trained transformer. But it, he, sounded, it sounded similar enough to you. It sounded, no, but here's where I really got them. <laughs> they didn't change the format. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, doy, they changed the words, but the format was exactly the same and I knew. So I called them out on it and I gave both of them a zero for it. But the one person said, oh yeah, me and whoever worked together and worked yeah. together, uh, this isn't working together. It's not a group that, project. That a person gave you what that they wrote and then you rewrote it using ChatGPT. I was yeah. that blunt about it. We, and he admitted it. He said, yeah, you know, I'm the one that did it and, you know, don't fault the other person. I go, no, that's not how it works. No, no, no. It takes both two to cheat. Both of you are complicit. No. So you're both getting a zero. Yeah. We, we've talked to Dr. Steiner about this, which is our uh, instructional design supervisor at FIU Online. And she hears it from a lot of instructors. The other one that irks me on the discussion board is when they do a blank post in the discussion board. Oh, yeah. To get into the board so they can copy and paste other people's stuff mm. onto their initial discussion, mm. which is plagiarism. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is they, they, they still to this day, I mean, it, it's so easy to catch the cheaters now because I know what cheating looks like, but they're still going on the internet. They type something in, they copy and paste. They don't even change a single word and they post in the discussion board. So whenever, and then they, they even leave like the hyperlinks <laughs> from where they yeah, copied it off the internet. Yeah. Yeah. So all I had to do is go click on the hyperlink to find out where they cheated from. <laughs> so there's no, there's no original work. They, they spent time doing this stuff and they've cheated themselves. They've cheated themselves out of a learning opportunity to really master a subject and learn about a subject mm -hmm. and learn with their peers and and they wasted time to get a zero. No logic there. <laughs> it's like paying for your class and not showing up. Yeah. Same crappy logic. Or paying to volunteer and not show up. I've been challenged to speak about ChatGPT from Miami-Dade College, Wilson and West. Yeah. FIU, I did a little something there too. And ChatGPT is just gangbusters came it's, onto the scene like yeah, in it's November. An, it's and an incredible, were, it's an incredible thing too. It but, came like five, it, within five months, it just infiltrated my life. And, and now I'm slowly becoming an expert <laughs> on that. And it turns out that we use Turnitin. Yeah. For some of these papers. Now turn it in can detect ChatGPT. Oh really? Yeah. They've got it. They, They've got it down. You only took them enough time. <laughs> yeah, and, and really the the turn it in, you you the the professor has to use it in its grading. It doesn't like it gives you a score, but sometimes the score can not be correct. Yeah, it's, so it's biased. You got you really got to use the software. Yeah. Just the same way you got to use ChatGPT for the right things. Like I always tell the students, like if you want to improve something you already wrote. That's fine. Go put it in Chavit GPT. It'll rewrite it and give you something. And it, you may not like it. You may think what you wrote before is better. So mm. keep with what you wrote. But don't, don't be a copy and paster. Don't, yeah. be, don't be one that cheats yourself. Yeah, we know our kids. I call them kids. No, they're, they're students. They're, they're young students. We know them. That when we give a writing assignment, 
we know that it's not their voice because we've heard them speak yeah. they talk to us we know how they write <laughs> we know how they write and they come up with these fancy writings we know it's not them no nah. anyways pay attention <laughs>